standing as we sing together from our gospel hymns and song, hymn number 99. Hymn number 99. There is a victory within my soul. There is victory within my soul. For the spirit with me abides. Let the waves of temptation roll. Jesus keeps me whatever betides. Though the conflict be fierce and long, though the tempter my heart assail, in my weakness yet I am strong. For with Jesus I will ever prevail. I have victory over sin. I have victory over grave. Even death now has lost its sting. Hallelujah. I know I am saved. Victory, victory. Victory in my soul. I have glorious victory. Since Jesus took control, victory, victory, sweeping like a flood, a glorious victory through Jesus' blood.
Let us pray. Continue with our Bible reading. But before we read, shall we just have a moment of prayer? Father, we are asking that you will open our eyes of understanding as we read your word today. We are asking that relevant passages that really speak to our present needs and problems, spiritually and physically and materially, you will impress upon our hearts. Be with us, enlighten us, instruct us, teach us as we read together now. In Jesus' name, I pray. We'll continue with the reading now. The book of the prophet Isaiah. The book of the prophet Isaiah. Chapter 11. Chapter 11. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord, and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. And he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. But with righteousness shall he judge the poor, and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. And righteousness shall be the girdle of his loins, and faithfulness the girdle of his reins. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf and the young lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. And the cow and the bear shall feed, their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox, and the sucking child shall play on the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the cockatrice den. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. And in that day there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign of the people. To it shall the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall be glorious. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people which shall be left from Assyria, and from Egypt, and from Pathrus, and from Cush, and from Elam, and from Shinar, and from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations, and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel, and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. The envy also of Ephraim shall depart, and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off, Ephraim shall not envy Judah, and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. But they shall fly upon the shoulders of the Philistines toward the west. They shall spoil them of the east together. They shall lay their hand upon Edom and Moab, and the children of Ammon shall obey them. And the Lord shall utterly destroy the tongue of the Egyptian sea, and with his mighty wind shall he shake his hand over the river, and shall smite it in the seven streams, and make men go over dryshod. And there shall be an highway for the remnant of his people which shall be left from Assyria, like as it was to Israel in the day that he came up out of the land of Egypt. Chapter 12. And in that day thou shalt say, O Lord, I will praise thee. Though thou wast angry with me, thine anger is turned away, and thou comfortest me. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also is become my salvation. Therefore with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation. And in that day shall ye say, Praise the Lord, call upon his name, declare his doings among the people, make mention that his name is exalted, sing unto the Lord, for he hath done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. Cry out and shout, thou inhabitant of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of thee. Chapter 13 the burden of Babylon, which Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see. 
Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. Exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand, that they may go into the gates of the nobles. I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones for mine anger, even them that rejoice in my highness. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together, the Lord of hosts mustereth the host of the battle. They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. Howl ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. And they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And I will punish the world for their evil, and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Therefore I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts, and in the day of his fierce anger. And it shall be as the chaste roe, and as a sheep that no man taketh up. They shall every man turn to his own people, and flee every one into his own land. Every one that is found shall be thrust through, and every one that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. Behold, I will stir up the meads against them, which shall not regard silver. And as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eye shall not spare children." And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency, shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there, and satyrs shall dance there. And the wild beasts of the islands shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant palaces, and her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged. You have just listened, and we need to take whatever we have learned to the Lord in prayer. Will you all rise up, please? Talk to the Lord in prayer. You've seen a commandment, a warning, an example, an instruction to obey, a promise to claim. Pray for grace that you will do as you have learned in the word of God. In Jesus' name, we pray.
Thank you, Your Excellency. Praise the Lord. I know that you have received quite a lot since we started. And I believe this final day, your cup will run over. Your bucket will run over. Your drum will run over. We started on Thursday talking about complete dominion. 
And we've gone on from that time until this final day. And we're still talking about complete dominion. And I want you to set your mind, like you set your alarm. Set your mind and focus on what God is bringing your way. Because this will be your night of possession. Your night of actualization. All you thought about, all you dreamt about, all you prayed about, concerning complete dominion. Tonight, the Lord wants to cap everything up. It will happen to you. Whatever the challenge, our God is still on the throne. The same as ever. Yesterday, today, and forever. He says, I am God, I change not. And our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, and today, and forever. In your life, He will not fail. What are you? Raise up that hand, Father. In the name of Jesus tonight, I bring everyone before you. Everyone here, everyone in every congregation, everyone online, everyone over the radio, over the television, everyone connected now. I pray that you will pour into every life the completeness of a dominion in Jesus' name. Take whatever is necessary and sweep away everything that hinders dominion in any life every life in jesus name power night miracle night salvation night deliverance night healing night dominion night for everyone here present and everyone online listening now lord confirm your power in every life i thank you lord because i know it is done thank you father for the answer in jesus name i pray God has blessed you already. Sit down in the blessing of the Lord. Tonight, as we come to the conclusion of this crusade, complete dominion, I'm talking to you from the Bible, and every verse you hear, every promise you hear, will be reproduced in your life. I'm talking to you on the privilege of complete dominion in Christ. A privilege. Give it to you. Give it to me. Give it to everyone. Give it to anyone. Everyone that will call on the name of the Lord. The privilege of complete dominion in Christ. Look at Romans chapter 8. I'm reading from verse 1. It says, There is therefore now. There is therefore now, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. You see two things there, the flesh and then the spirit as oil and water do not mix the flesh and the spirit do not mix. The soul of the flesh, of the flesh, pleasures of the flesh, and the program of the flesh, and the project of the flesh, and the whatever of the flesh, thereby a class by themselves. And then we bring our soul, our spirit, our flesh, our life, our character, we bring our past unto the Lord and Christ the Savior Christ the Redeemer it turns us from being a slave of the flesh to an experience of a man a new creature in Christ of the spirit the flesh the spirit 
and you cannot belong to the two classes at the same time and you cannot on sunday be in the spirit and then on monday you are in the flesh you cannot have the wealth of the spirit one day and then the other day you are back to the works of the flesh one or the other and it says for those who have really come to christ there is therefore now no condemnation to them who are now in christ in christ they came in surrender to christ they came in conversion to christ they came that the transforming power and the converting power of christ will come to them because of that they are now in christ jesus and it says they walk not after the flesh the past is gone and the new has begun they now walk after the spirit look at verse 2 there it says in verse 2 for the law of the spirit of life in christ jesus has made me free now paul is was actually talking to everybody and he was talking about those who are converted those who are changed those who are transformed and those who have come to christ now he makes it personal uh, you know it, it's one thing to be a preacher a pastor a priest and uh, an exhorter and then you just exhort the people it's another thing for you to have taken of the meal you are serving of the water you are recommending of the gospel you are preaching and it's for one thing for paul the apostle to say now don't walk in the flesh but walk in the spirit but now he makes it personal the gospel must be personal in our lives not that they say they think they command it becomes a personal property that it says for the law of the spirit of life in christ jesus has made me free and it is that same power of the gospel it is that same power of the grace of god that made him free that comes to your life and makes you free from the law of sin and death it will happen i said it will happen we're not here for you for you to see i was there i attended the crusade i like the preaching i like the songs i like the testimonies no you are here so that a definite transformation a definite change a definite conversion will happen in your life that you will be able to say he the lord he the christ he the savior has made me free you'll be free yeah. all those chains all those shackles all the corruption all the uncleanness all the evil all the manifestations of the adamic nature that will be going down and down and down the lord will arrest the situation in your life He'll turn your life around. You'll never be the same again. I want you to look at verse 29. Verse 29 there, it says, For whom he did for no. He knew you will come here today. He knew you'll be there today asking the Lord, How do I have complete dominion? Whom he did for no them he also predestinates to be conformed to the image of the son of god that's the purpose the son of god christ adds complete dominion over sin over self over satan over evil over the corruption in the world and now he wants you he wants to take your life it will take your life tonight it will reform you give me a good amen yeah. it will refashion you give me another amen yeah. it will recreate you it will transform your life to be conformed 
to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brethren that's why i come to you today to tell you about your privilege the privilege of complete dominion in christ three things we're looking at number one we're talking about coming to christ for consistent dominion coming to christ for consistent dominion number two continuing with christ you come you stay you abide you continue for complete dominion continuing with christ for complete dominion number three conquering with christ you know christ is the mighty conqueror christ is the mighty captain he always conquered day or night he conquered all alone by himself or with his disciples he conquered anywhere everywhere the devil cannot point to his secret deal ah christ boasting before the people and you're telling them you are this you are that we know ourselves in the private now when i gave you this to smoke didn't you get for me when i gave you that to drink didn't you get that from me when i get gave you this to have simple sinful pleasure didn't you have that with me never christ had victory complete victory total victory in the day in the night in the private in the public with people without people he had complete dominion it is now your turn he was a conqueror every moment every minute every time and when you are with christ and when you are in christ and when you belong to christ that same victory that same triumph that same authority that he had it will give you that authority yeah. it will give me yeah. it will give me he will give me the same dominion that he had continuing with christ for complete dominion number three conquering what christ for crowning dominion that's a crown to wear paul spoke about it james spoke about it and then even in revelation jesus spoke about it that you are part of royalty and that he has made you and he has brought you near so that you will conquer and so that you will wear the crown on the final day conquering what christ for crowning dominion will you get it will you have it possess it tonight and then you go out of this complete dominion crusade you will never be like you were before in jesus name the grace of god the strength of the lord the power of the lord will come to your life and totally renew your life and things will never be the same anymore in jesus name one two three and your miracle will arrive one two three and the transformation will arrive in your life tonight in jesus name let's do number one number one coming to christ for consistent dominion why do we have to come to christ why can't i try by myself if you try by yourself in human strength in human skill You'll be up, you'll be down. You'll be up, you'll be down. You'll be undulating. Your graph will not be strange. Because human strength, human ability cannot make you to have consistent dominion. Up and down, up and down. Sometimes in the valley, of despondency and then sometimes at the peak on the mountain top 
of joy and apparent victory. But when you come to Christ, it will straighten out the graph of your life. You understand what I mean? Graph, you know, you have that line, that line, and then we we'll draw the graph, and it's going straight, straight on. And when you look at that, you say, praise the Lord. And the beginning of that graph is the point of your conversion. The beginning of that graph is the point of your yielding yourself unto the Lord. And then as time goes on, hour after hour, and day after day, the power of the Lord, Lord, keeps on moving you up and you are making progress you make progress in Jesus name I want you to look at 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and I'm reading from verse 14 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 14 now thanks be unto God which always 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 causes us to triumph in Christ you come to Christ you are in Christ you are converted by Christ. You are in Christ. Your sins are forgiven. You are in Christ. His grace comes to you by grace that you save through faith. That not of yourself. It is the gift of God. That grace flows into your life. And then you say from that point on thanks be unto God. Which always, always, always causes us to triumph in Christ. And make it manifest the savor of his knowledge by us in every place. Underline those words, in every place. Underline them, in every place. When grace comes to your life, when a new life begins, and when the power of the grace of God works in your life, it says, in every place, in every situation, and every crossroad, Anytime you have to make a decision, you make that decision on the side of Christ. Consistently, constantly, continually, continuously, he makes you to have dominion. How does that happen? We come to Christ. We come to him who can turn our lives around. In John chapter 6, verse 37. John chapter 6. Verse 37, all that the Father giveth me shall come to me. All that the Father giveth me, not just few of them, some of them. The Father has been watching you. That you desire something greater than you ever had. The Father has been watching you. That you have discovered that all you have on earth was not sufficient to give you the triumph and the victory and the dominion. It sees your heart and you say, God, are you there? I want a better life. I want a higher life. I want a stronger life. I want a more committed life. He has seen. That's why he brought you tonight and is going to do that impossible thing in your life in Jesus' name. You understand? The bulb, that's the fluorescent, electric light. The bulb is there. The bulb is in the socket. But then the wire is not connected to the source of power. That bulb may be very costly. That bulb may be very beautiful. And that bulb might have been there. And then it can boast that bulb is better, is greater, is bigger. And it is stronger than all the other bulbs. No matter the strength, no matter the quality of that bulb. Without connecting to the power, source of power. There will be no light there. But when you take that cord and you put it in and you turn it on lo and behold light in your life i said light in your life it is the connection it is the coming unto christ 
and then you are linked with Christ, that's what brings the light of righteousness and the light of a new life, of a new nature. It says all that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh, that's you tonight. I say that's you tonight. I can see you looking at your life and meditating on your life and you say enough is enough. Darkness, enough is enough. Weakness, enough is enough. Evil, enough is enough. Corruption, enough is enough. Now I come. I'm talking to somebody there. Now I come. Who am I talking to there? As you come to Christ tonight, the power in the grace of Christ will turn your life around. Yeah. Him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. I will in no wise cast out. He will receive you tonight. Yeah. He welcomes you tonight into his grace. He welcomes you tonight into his power. He welcomes you tonight. And that thing you'll be waiting for, and you'll be making resolution, resolution, I will not do this, I'll not do that. All that tonight, the Lord will take the resolution, and then he'll bring regeneration in your life in Jesus' name. Revelation chapter 22 verse 17. Revelation chapter 22 verse 17. And the spirit and the bride say, come. And let him that heareth say, come. And let him that is at thirst, come. You, th you are thirsty for something higher, something greater than you ever had in your life. And you say, Lord, that new life. That righteous life, that transformed life, I desire, I thirst. It says, and let him that is the thirst come, and whosoever will, that's your name right there. Whosoever will, you can put your name right there. You have the willingness from your heart, the desire from your heart, the aspiration from your heart. Whosoever will, let him take. Nobody will take it away from you. Let him take. Let him take. You know, it's like food is there. If you are really hungry, let him take. Water is there. If you are really thirsty, let him take. Courage is there. If you are really weak and you want to change a transformation, let him take a new life. It's there for everyone that actually desires a new life. Let him take. Let him take of the water of life freely. You come tonight to Christ and the Lord will not reject you. He will transform your life. It will transform my life. He will transform my life. Let heaven hear you. Tonight is that night it will happen. Now, we come to Christ. Look at point number two there. Point number two here. You know, when I went to school, primary school, there were people that came to the primary school like I came. The challenge is, by the time we got to standard one, standard two, at that time standard three, some of them did not continue. They dropped out. We never get education by coming to school and not continuing. And as I've been growing up in life, there are people that come into this situation and you say praise the lord for mr so-and-so for mrs so-and-so things have changed they came and some of them do not continue have you seen people that start they laid the foundation they build but then they do not continue and they become unfinished projects and there are many people like that, they are scattered all along the road. They started, and before they got to their destination, they stopped. I will not stop. 
I said, I will not stop. When we get to school, we come, we commence, we begin, and then if we stop, if we don't continue, they call such people dropouts. They came into salvation, they became dropouts. They came to Christ, they became dropouts. They came into a new life, they became dropouts. That's the difference between Peter and Judas Iscariot. One continued, the other became a dropout. I will not be a dropout. I will not be a dropout. Point number two then, continuing with Christ for complete dominion. Continuing, continuing with Christ for complete dominion. Look at this in John chapter 8 verse 31. John chapter 8 verse 31. Then said Jesus to those Jews who believed on him. They came. They confessed. They were converted. They believed on him. And he said, if ye continue in my word, if ye continue on condition that you continue in the word, in the word of salvation, you continue in the word of his power, you continue in the word of his strength. You continue in the word of his grace. A, ye continue in my word then. Are ye my disciples indeed? The word continue. Very important that you come, you abide, you stay, you continue and day after day you're moving with christ you are walking with christ you are living with christ and the grace of christ is being multiplied in your life it is on that condition you'll be a disciple that has complete dominion and then on the final day, you keep walking like Enoch, walking with God, walking with God, he didn't stop. Walking with God, he didn't, he didn't become a drop out. And then eventually the Lord took him and took him to heaven. That's where I'm going. I said that's where I'm going. But you know, if you, you know, you, you boarded the transport, the bus, and they were, you know, going and going. At the middle of the road, they said, driver, driver, dr drop me here. I see something interesting by the side of the road there. I'm attracted to that. And I want to stop and look at something interesting by the side of, they drop you and then the vehicle moves on. You don't get your destination. The people that get to their destination, they are the people who continue. And that's why you will continue. Yeah. Where are you there? The Lord confirm it in your life. Yeah. The grace and the strength and the power to continue, the Lord gave it to you in Jesus' name. Yeah. Look at this, Acts chapter 13. I'm reading from verse 43. Acts chapter 13, verse 43. Now, when the congregation was broken up, why? Oh, because we don't stay in the congregation all our lives. Just like we are at the crusade now. When we finish and we say the final amen, then we go to our homes. But then as you go, you are taking victory along with you. You are taking the conquering spirit along with you. It says now when the congregation was broken up, many of the Jews and religious proselytes followed Paul and Barnabas who speaking to them, like I'm speaking to you now, speaking to them, exhorting them, encouraging them, and strengthening them, and lifting them, or speaking to them, persuading them to continue in the grace of God. To continue in the grace of God. The Almighty God will not force anything on anyone. He has grace abundant. 
and grace sufficient for everyone but it's not going to force that on you you must make up your mind i come number one i continue number two you will continue in jesus name i will continue in jesus name so that we don't take the crusade as you know i, I was there and I like the music, I like the actions, I like the international um, kind of flavor in that crusade. And then you attend the crusade like you attend nightclub. And then after the nightclub is over, then you go back home and there's no permanent definite influence upon your life the crusade is different is to make us have the grace of god and then to continue in that grace of god completeness will come to your life sufficiency will come to your life in colossians chapter 2 i'm reading from verse 9 there colossians chapter 2 verse 9 for in him outside him everything is wilderness outside him everything is sorrow at outside him everything is defeat for in him dwelleth all the fullness of the godhead bodily and then it says in verse 10 in verse 10 and ye are complete in him and ye are complete in him you come to him you continue with him you pray to him you abide in him his word abides in you and the calling of god is fresh in your mind and ye are complete in him which is the head of all principality and power i welcome you to that completeness today in your spirit i welcome you in your soul i welcome you in your spirit and in your body i welcome you anything 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 that is not complete there tonight the lord will complete everything you say you say you know this man a nice man a good man but there's something deficient in his body that's why he cannot have this incomplete 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 come to christ tonight and then make up your mind i will continue of the lord completeness has come yeah. my dear sister there the lord is waiting for you all that thing in your life that makes you to feel empty insufficient incompetent incomplete tonight is that night as you come to christ tonight completeness will happen in your life complete 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 in him we are complete in him when you continue i will continue then the completeness will come and the joy of the lord will be in its fullness in your life in jesus name number one you come number two you continue number three you conquer number three i conquer i conquer you know if you have been conquered in your life overcome in your life once beaten twice shy to start any new life once beaten always shy and to begin a new project of your life a new start in your life and a new kind of dream in your life you've been beaten so often you've been conquered so often you've been overcome so often and the enemy invisible and visible they pushed at you for such a long time and you say i never make it i never get it i pursue but i don't possess tonight will be different you come to the one who is able to give you victory trial and tonight it'll bring that conquering spirit inside you in jesus name and it is that that will lead you on until you have the conquering and the crowning 
dominion i see the crown of victory on your head and i see the crown of success on your head tonight and i say who is that who is that look at the shiny crown on his said and they say it is mr so-and-so that became brother such and such oh i understand a change had happened a transformation has taken place and instead of just a weak cleaner and somebody who never made it now i see a conqueror brother victor welcome brother victor where are you that's your new name you'll be a victor in jesus name look at that lady there you know always looking down always crying always dejected and i call her and i said um, you know my daughter what's the problem there he said everything i ever thought of crumbled my life has collapsed there is nothing i do that has any success at all i said can we change that history tonight? He said, Pastor, possible? To change my history? I said, yes. The one who created you, that you didn't know. The one that has all the power you didn't know. He will take on your life tonight and then uh, collapse, defeat, sorrow, suffering. Thank you, my boy or my girl, they are gone. Shout with him or with her. Gone. <laughs> and now conversion has taken place. A new life has now begun. And I see you now shining face. Shining crown. Even the spring on your leg. The way you walk now, I can tell you that's no more Mrs. Victim. Now she's sister. Victoria sister Victoria where are you praise the Lord a change a transformation that we have the power to conquer the ability to conquer and it's in Christ the Lord will make you an overcomer Look at First John chapter 5. First John chapter 5. I'm reading from verse 4. In First John chapter 5, reading from verse 4. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. Whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. How? Why? Have you heard? Like father, like son. Look at that boy. The way he walks, I can tell that the son of father so and so. Like mother, like daughter. Look at that girl. Little girl. And she's not trying to copy the mother. But the way she walks, even the tone of her voice, even the look of her eyes, even her facial expression, they say, are you the daughter of Madame so-and-so? He said, yes, I can tell. How could you tell like mother, like daughter the same thing with god when god brings you into his own family and you are born of god like god like the godly the one who has now come to christ life has changed things have turned around and tonight is that night in your life but whatsoever whatsoever is born of god overcomes the world and this is the victory that overcomes the world even our faith that is it that is it that's the wire that connects you with the power original power and the source of power and it says that even our faith that is how we conquer look at verse 5 in verse 5 it says 
who is he who is she that overcomes the world all that pollution coming out of the world who is he that overcomes and all the degradation coming from the world who is he that overcomes who is she who is he that overcomes the world but he that believeth that jesus is the son of god you are that man god is looking for you you are that woman god is looking for you and today on this final day it will make you to conquer you go out of this place and all the insufficiency of your life all the incompetence of your life all the drooping in your life i said i cannot i must not who am i to think that i'm going to be victorious all of a sudden a transformation comes all of a sudden a compassion comes all of a sudden something new comes and then you stand up and you say i can and you cancel i cannot out of your vocabulary i can i can help me lift that voice up i can through christ through his grace through his power it will happen in your life uh, look at this interesting verse verse 18 verse 18 uh, of that first john chapter 5 he said we know we know we know apostles we know prophets we know preachers we know members we know we know that whosoever is born of god sinneth not what does that mean whosoever is born of god sinneth not when we are born of god his nature is transmitted into our lives when somebody is not born of god like jesus said you have your father the devil and the nature of the devil is in such a person actually sin s i n s satan i in in nature satan in nature that's sin when sin is the thing that occupies your mind occupies your thought and satan grabs your nature and he says i subdue i subject i enslave sin satan in nature but then you say i am tired of that sage i am tired of satan i am tired of slavery i am tired of defeat and then christ said if you are tired come 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 unto me all ye that labor and are heavy lady and i will give you rest tonight i said tonight and then you come and you are now born of god and he gives you a new nature a different nature you don't like to do all those evil things anymore the things you like to do now the new the righteous they are the lives of the people that are born of God. And we know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not. But he that is begotten of God keepeth himself. And that wicked one toucheth him not. You didn't hear that one. Yeah. I'll read it again to you. And that wicked one toucheth him not now you are free now you are shielded now you are protected and all those things you used to deal with those boys that you know use the internet do this and do that now you are out of that and all the corrupt ways of you know lying to get this and get that now you are out of that and the corrupt ways of the world because you don't like that anymore all the things i used to do i hate them now 
I love the Lord. I'm talking to somebody there today. I love the Lord. I love the Lord. And I love his transforming power in my life. And he keepeth himself. And that wicked one touches him not. He will not touch you with his evil practice again. He will not touch you with his sicknesses again. He will not touch you with all the demonic manipulative power in your life anymore. In Jesus' name, you come to dominion. You come to triumph. You come to victory. Christ will effect that in your heart, in your life, right there tonight in Jesus' name. Where are you? I'm looking for him. I said, where are you? Okay, okay, okay. You are there. Where, where are you now? I'm looking for her. I'm looking for her there. The Lord has seen you. Tonight is that night of transformation. The night of change. The night for you to conquer. And everything that has conquered you tonight, you will conquer. Ex bouch and eyes closed. Serious business tonight. Ex bouch and eyes closed. The Lord is calling you. And the moment you come, the past will be forgiven. The past, it will set you free. Tonight, a new you will start. A new convert will start. A new conqueror will begin and a new man a new woman will begin in your life in jesus name it's bowed and eyes closed you're coming to christ tonight and you're coming so he will forgive you he will set you free change your life he'll transform your life wherever you are this is the final day don't miss your chance raise up your hand right there Thank you. God bless you. Raise up that hand. Raise up that hand. And you say, Lord, tonight I am coming. I'm coming. I'm coming to Christ. I come with my heart. I come with my soul. I come with my decision. I've made up my mind. Whatever other people do, whatever they do not do tonight, I come. And as you come, He will not cast you away. He'll bring a new life unto you. I come. Where are you? Raise up that hand. Raise up that hand. Be very quick. If you're raising up your hand, you'll stand up right there. That means you single yourself out. You're not in the crowd anymore. And you're not a faceless person anymore. You are there. And the Lord says, he has sent Christ to die for you, to convert you, so that you'll be born of God, wherever you are. That's right, stand up there, raise up your hand and stand up. While you are standing up, tell the Lord, Lord, I thank you. I hear your voice calling me, and with all my mind, with all my heart, I come. I come to Christ so that my life will take on the victory i've been desiring tell the lord tell the lord i forsake my past i reject the corruption of the past i reject the evil of the past i come forgive me lord change me lord transform my life lord thank you lord i know that christ died for me, even me, I've surrendered my life to Christ now. Take me up and do the transforming work in my life tonight. I'm going to pray with you now. Keep on standing up and raise up that hand still. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for everyone who, have led, who has led the past, led their sins, and led the siege of this corner and they have come unto christ tonight with all their heart and with all their soul and they desire the new life that christ has paid for on the cross of calvary lord forgive their past 
cleanse their past. Oh Lord, I pray a real conversion will happen to everyone in Jesus' name. Born of God, give them a new heart, a new spirit, a new character, a new direction in life, and a new purpose in life in Jesus' name. Confirm your salvation in every heart. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Keep on standing. Our counselors are there. They give you a slip to feel it so that we can follow up on you. After this counseling period, I'll come. And all the miracle and the healing deliverance you need before the crusade ends, all that is coming to you tonight. You don't say good amen, I will not go and say that. God bless you. Thank you. More, more, more. Amen. The counselors should please move fast. And let's quickly take all the names, the phone numbers, and don't forget better to write in capital and make everything legible if you have given your life to the lord jesus christ before this time while awaiting uh pastor and father the lord to come up again to pray with you the miracle prayer prayer for dominion you can begin to pray, talk to the Lord about your cases. And for the counselors, let's make it very fast. I repeat, the rest of us, it's not chatting time. And it's not just time to look here and there. Why don't you focus your mind upon the Lord, who alone is able to deliver? Who alone is able to heal? Who alone is able to give you dominion where the enemy had oppressed you before this time? Don't forget, everyone that is born of God overcometh the world. Get yourself ready and you are crossing from being a victim to a victor. Remember, it is the last night. And uh, yours, you will smile last. Like the popular saying, the one that is closest to the bottom of the pot is the sweetest. You have it tonight. Pray for it. And those online if you are in gatherings like these, church gatherings, church assemblies, the counselors there too will believe they are already helping. And as you look at the screen, whether on the handset in your hand, on the television, you can connect with us through that information there. send your name or better still send whatsapp message to plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two eight three 
again. Plus two, three, four. Nine, one, five. Four, four, four. Nine, two, six, three. Six, three. Send a WhatsApp message. And let's know the Lord has touched you, the Lord has turned you around, the Lord has saved you quickly. And when you connect like that, you're literally connecting with the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's hurry up, cancel us. Tonight is your night. Don't go away with partial, incomplete dominion. Don't even say you want to go with 80% dominion. What the Lord brought for you. What the Lord has preserved for you. And what the Lord has ordained for you is complete dominion. And the Lord Jesus Christ is not saying he will not give you. So you have complete dominion from Christ. Patiently wait, receive all. And as you heard a while ago, your cup will run over, your bucket will run over, your drum will run over, your tank will run over. Complete, complete, complete for you. Once again, those of us on the online, and those of us online, check the number on the screen. Plus two, three, four, nine, one, five, four, 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 nine, two, six, three. Once again, plus two, three, four, nine, one, five, four, 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 nine, two, six, three. Send your information. We will reach back to you. It shall be great tonight. I can see some of you are really praying honestly, fervently. Get ready. The man of God is coming up. I believe all names taken are ended. Can you just wave to me from various parts of the ground? If you are through. Just wave, just wave, just wave. I'm not seeing any hand up yet to confirm that the exercise had ended. There I can see some of those, some of the counselors coming back. If you have finished, wave, 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 wave. Okay, I can see some. All right, I can see some. Now get ready. It's your miracle time your dominion time rise up on your feet it's your dominion time 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's coming your way. Yes. Dominion. Yes. Complete dominion. Yes. Crowning dominion. Yes. The power to heal. Yes. The power to deliver. Yes. And the power to destroy all the works of the devil in your life here and now. It will happen in Jesus' name. Those blind eyes will open. Those lame legs will be strengthened. You'll rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Any sickness, any infirmity, any disease, tonight is the last night. And when we mention the name of Jesus, that thing will pack its load and go out of your body in Jesus' name. Miracle. What are you going to have now? Healing. What are you going to have now? Deliverance. What are you going to have now? Amen. Amen. I feel like coming to you there. Just hold your hand, tell you, you are the person I'm talking to there. Amen. Miracle coming upon your life in Jesus' name. Raise up that hand and lay the hand where you have the problem, whatever the name of the problem. Tonight is your night of miracle. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name. I come for your people on behalf of your people and I'm asking tonight oh Lord touch everyone with their needed miracle in Jesus name complete healing complete deliverance complete miracle complete dominion upon everyone in Jesus name madness insanity demon I command you pack your load and go spiritual problem nothing walking about in the body spiritual serpent spiritual scorpion come out in Jesus name any kind of spiritual problem inside you, in your family, tormenting your life, disturbing your life, I command, come out in Jesus' name. Where you have pain, where you have sickness, where you have disease, be healed in Jesus' name. Blind eyes, your turn has come. Lord, touch their blind eyes. Heal their blind eyes. Open those eyes and see in Jesus' name. Those who are deaf and dumb, I pray the power, healing power of Christ, come in your ears now that the dumbness will vanish away. The deafness will vanish away. Cancer, you are healed. Lord, I pray that everyone, anywhere, having that pain of cancer, swollen, bringing out whatever kind of liquid, cancer, dry up and be healed in Jesus' name. Also, you are healed in Jesus' name. Respiratory breathing problem, asthma. You are healed in Jesus' name. And yeah, you are healed in Jesus' name. Fibroid, come out in Jesus' name. Any kind of swelling in your body, anywhere, any part of the body, swelling, come out in Jesus' name. And also have arthritis, pains in their joints, 
I command right now all the pain vanish away instantaneously in Jesus name I pray for those who have stroke I pray for those who have arthritis I pray for those who have pains in their joints I pray you release them now from the pain and heal them completely in Jesus name that short leg I command grow out in Jesus name with that hand stretch it out and be renewed in Jesus name lame paralyzed you're healed you can stand up now and walk get out of that a bed or mat or wheelchair and walk in Jesus name everywhere now miracle to my right to my front to the back to the front to the left everywhere the touch of miracle in your life in Jesus name over the radio television online everywhere miracle everywhere now Lord confirm your word thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord it is done in Jesus name I pray you got it I got it my healing I got it check up yourself you'll find the miracle there